Every girl, every boy, come on up and up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles. Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. Where the thimbles? Mm. surprise too. Shall I do it again? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <boo. laughs> oh. oh, oh, I'm getting the bimbling feeling. I'm going to find something. <laughs> I can hear a sound It's telling me there's something Waiting to be found Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there Let's go and see Oh, there is something to be found here But where is it? Is it over here? No, or is it over there? Oh, oh can you see it anywhere? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, it's very crinkly. <laughs> Hello, Flurry. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I've just found it, Rocket. It's all wrapped up. Cool. It looks very special. Yes, I think it's a special present. A, a special present? Oh, hello, Flurry. <laughs> Hmm, that looks exciting. I wonder what it could be. Oh, 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 is it a ball to play with? <laughs> no, Rocket. <laughs> I don't think it's a ball. It's very light. Maybe it's a bubble. What's in here? What can it be? All wrapped up so carefully. Whatever it is, it's round and light. Maybe inside it's shiny and bright. It'll float right up. To the top of the tree A bubble's what I'd like it to be What's in here, what can it be? All wrapped up so carefully Whatever it is, it's round and round It flies in the air without a sound I'm sure we're going to find out soon What I'd really like it to be A balloon! <laughs> oh, hello there everyone Hello Rolly! Look what I found. Oh, well, that's a splendid present you've got there. What do you think is inside it, Rolly? Well, now, let me see. Do you think it might be a hat? 
<laughs> I think it might be a bubble. Thimble wants it to be a balloon. Uh, it's a ball. That's what it is. It's a ball. <laughs> well, I think the best thing about presents is always the surprise. Oh. Inside the box. They're sticking the paper together with sticky tape. Wrapping a present can be quite tricky. You need to hold the paper tightly and then stick on the sticky tape as quickly as you can. Doing very well. That's one side done. And now the other side. Hold the paper. Hold it tight. <laughs> and on with the sticky tape. Hmm. That looks tippity toppy, doesn't it? Surprise present. Shall I open it? Shall I? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, what's in it? What's in it? What's in it? Oh. 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 Oh, oh, there's nothing inside it. Well, I must say, that is a surprise. <laughs> oh, no present. Nothing at all. Oh, yes, there is, Fimbo. Look. There's my pretend ball. <laughs> up it goes, and down, and up and down. <laughs> A pretend ball. A ball you can't see. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Off it goes. I'll just go and chase my ball. Bye. No, there's nothing here. Oh, well now, Florrie, I wouldn't say that. You have got something, haven't you? Have we? Um, oh, yes, the paper. <laughs> That's right, beautiful wrapping paper. <laughs> oh, Fimbo, why don't we make a surprise present for someone? Good idea. Um, who? Oh, 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 I know. What about Bessie? Yeah, Bessie. Let's make a surprise present for Bessie. Now, we've got to think of what to do with it. Oh. Hey, look, Florrie. There's a picture on one side of this wrapping paper, but there's nothing on the other side. Oh, well, that's right. I think I've got an idea for my surprise present. See you later, Florrie. Oh, bye, Fimbo. I think I'll go and see if Pom wants to help me. Hmm. Now, what can I give Bessie as a surprise? Hmm. I know. I'm sure Bessie would like a surprise story as a present. <laughs> I'll go and have a look. I think I know just the one. Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, Mom! Mom! Hi, uh, Flory! Oh. <laughs> look what I found, Mom. Oh. It's wrapping paper. Oh, hello, wrapping paper. We're going to give Bessie a present. Huh? Can you think of anything to give her, Bob? Oh, uh, a Bessie pebble. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, um, a Bessie leaf. Oh, and a leaf. Uh, oh, do you think we can wrap these up? Uh, uh, pom, wrap, um, uh, oh. oh. Oh, maybe we don't need anything inside the paper. Maybe we could do something with the paper. Oh, a uh, uh, pom -no, pom -no, uh, on your head. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, a paper hat. Uh. Oh, let's make a paper hat for Bessie. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I thought the paper would come in useful. <laughs> yes, we're making a paper hat for Bessie. Yes. Oh, what a good idea. Well, I thought I might tell her a surprise story. 
What do you think? Oh, Dory, Dory. <laughs> yes, Pom. I've been trying to choose just the right one. Oh, but it's very difficult. Uh, uh, Bessie surprise. Oh, can we help you choose, Rolly? Of course you can, Florrie. <laughs> now, uh, shall we have a story about a surprise visitor? Or a surprise birthday present? Ah, oh, a present. Oh, yes, a surprise birthday present, please. Oh, oh, oh. Right, oh, I'll go and fetch it right away. Back in a rolly mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Here we are. Oh, we finished our hat now, Rolly. Look. What do you think of it? Oh, jolly good. Shall we go and surprise Bessie then? <laughs> surprise! Oh. There we are. There's some snow falling. Hmm. Now for some nice red berries for the birds to eat. <laughs> Now, let's see. I've got a wintry tree, some red berries, a blue sky and snow. Now, all it needs is some winter sparkle. <laughs> First, some glue. Here we are. And now for some glitter. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Here we go. Shakey, shakey, shake. <laughs> Finished. Hmm. Let's go and find Bessie. And uh, one and two and two and three. And in, out, out and stretch. Oh, pie. Oh, oh, I do find a few exercises make me feel fresh. Fluffed up and ready for anything. Oh, Bessie, Bessie! Oh, Bessie! Oh, hello there, my beautiful lovelies. I was just wondering where you'd got to. Oh, uh, hello, Bessie. Oh, hello, Rolly. We've got a surprise present for you. Oh, oh, oh. have you, Chuckies? Well, that's very exciting. Bessie hat! Yes, Bessie, we made it for you. Oh, oh, oh. well, flat me wings. Would you believe it? A new hat for an old bird. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, Bessie, Bessie, I've got a surprise present for you too. <laughs> Anybody would think it was my birthday today. Another lovely surprise. Oh, shall I open it for you, Bessie? Oh, would you be so kind, Fimbo? I can't wait to see what's inside. <laughs> oh, well, just look at that. Oh, yes, it's a winter picture, Bessie, with lots of sparkle. Oh, it's fabulous, you clever chap. I shall treasure it. Rolly's got a surprise for you too, Bessie. Oh, well, yes, I thought you might like a story. Oh, Rolly, I'd love a story. <laughs> but I won't tell you the end. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> now then, shall I begin? This story is called... A birthday surprise. It was the end of summer, but the sun was still shining brightly. Happy birthday, Molly, said Gran. But it's not my birthday for ages, said Molly. Inside the present was a big bowl of brown earth. Give it plenty of water, said Gran. It's your birthday surprise. Put it in the spare room, said Mum. It'll get lots of sunshine there. So Molly put the bowl on the windowsill of the spare room. She watered it and she waited. 
but nothing happened. Autumn came. Outside, the leaves were falling off the trees. Molly gave the bowl some more water. She waited and she waited, but still nothing happened. Winter came. Snowflakes fell on the frosty ground. Molly watered the bowl again. She waited and she waited and she waited, but still nothing happened. Molly forgot all about the bowl of earth. She didn't even go to look at it. But Mum remembered. Then it was spring. Time for the flowers and leaves to grow again. And time for Molly's birthday. Gran came for tea. Do you like your birthday surprise? She said. Molly looked puzzled. The one I gave you last summer? Molly ran as fast as she could to the spare room. The bowl wasn't just full of brown earth anymore. It was a bowl of beautiful golden yellow flowers. And there were four of them. Four daffodils, because you're four years old today, said Gran. The flowers have been asleep in the earth all this time, but now it's springtime, they've grown into your birthday surprise. Oh, thank you, Gran, said Molly. That really was a birthday surprise. Ah, lovely. A surprise story, Bessie. Oh, well, <laughs> this has been a very special day. <laughs> a surprise day. That's right, Flory. And now there are no more surprises. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Bimbo, there's always a surprise when Rocket's around. <laughs> <laughs> Today's a special day for me With surprises, one, two, three Rolly's story was just right Thimble's picture sparkling bright Flory and Pom made me this hat Thank you so much, I really love that <laughs> We have had a special day yes. With surprises all the way My surprise was when I found A present oh so big and round It wasn't a balloon, a bow, a lot of ball had a busy day today. Do you remember who found the wrapping paper? <laughs> That's right, my little fluffet. It was Flory. And then they opened the wrapping paper and what was inside? Nothing. But then those dear little thimbles had the idea of making me some surprise presents. Flory and Pom made me a beautiful hat. And Fimbo did a special winter picture for me with glitter on. And Roly Mo told us all a lovely story. <laughs> Perhaps you could make a surprise for someone special too. Come and find us again next time, won't you? Now, we must fly. Goodbye. Look, I Every boy Come and open up your eyes There's a world Right here Full of wonder and surprise Let's go and find the thimbles! Thimbles 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 Where's the thimbles? Mm.
You got me again, Rocky! Oh, of course, Fimbo. I'm the best at playing sleeping frogs. Mm, uh, it's a brilliant game. Of course, I made it up myself. Oh, can I have a go now? Uh, um uh, at being sleepy? Uh, well, uh, really it has to be a frog who is asleep. Why? Because it's sleeping frogs, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Well, in that case, let's play a new game. OK, what? Um, Sleeping Fimbos. <laughs> uh, sleeping Fimbos? Hmm. How do you play that? Oh, it's easy. It's just like Sleeping Frogs, except I'm the one who's asleep. Hmm. That sounds a soopity, tippity, toppity, doopity. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'll go over here. <laughs> Fimbo, are you ready? <laughs> Shall we start? Oh, are you asleep? Oh, maybe he really is asleep. Let's go and see. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Rocket, where have you gone? I wasn't really asleep. <laughs> Oh, Rocket, you got me again! <laughs> of course, I'm the best at playing sleeping fimbos as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I'm getting the fimbling feeling. I'm going to find something. Hooray! Telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. <laughs> there is something to be found here, but where is it? Is it over here? No. Is it over there? Oh, can you see it anywhere? Oh, what's that? Hello, Fimbo. Uh, ooh. ooh, what have you found? What have you found? What have you found? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. Oh, it's lots of lovely colours. Ooh, it's all soft. Oh, and squidgy. <laughs> oh, yes, soft and squidgy. Squidgy and soft. Uh, soft and squidgy, squidgy and soft. Oh. Um, oh, what did it do that for? I don't know. Or maybe it's supposed to. Oh, there you are. Hello, you two. May I poke my beak in and ask what you're up to? Oh, hello, Bessie. Look what we found. Ooh. Oh, yes, it's soft and squidgy. Squidgy, squidgy and soft. soft. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a froggy cushion for sitting on. Well, I think it's usually used for sleeping in. Sleeping? Yes, it's a sleeping bag. Oh. That looks like a sleeping bag. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> it's a very fine sleeping bag. you can take with you anywhere you go. It's got a zip down one side, see? So you can hop in easily. Uh, she's zipping it up again. She looks very comfy. Night, night. Sleep tight. A sleeping bag is a bed you can take with you. Well, yes, I suppose it is. Oh, and you can roll it up. Hey, Rocket, why don't we go on a trip? What, now? Oh, I thought we were going to play with this sleeping bag. But we can take it with us. Oh, yes. Uh, why? 
<laughs> we can find somewhere comfy to put it and we can go to sleep. Um, let's roll it up again. Oh, roll, roll, roll it up. Take it somewhere new. A comfy, wumpy, snoozy, snuggly, fun for me and you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ready? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Dum 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 dum. Splashy, 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 splashy. <laughs> Bob time, little one. Oh, whoopity doopity! Hey! Oh, now this looks like a good place to sleep, Rocket. Oh, hello, Thimbo. <laughs> hello, Rocket. Hi, hello, Flory. Oh, what are you two doing? Well, we're going on a trip with our sleeping bag. Sleeping bag? Oh, yes, it's a bed you take with you. We're looking for a comfy place to sleep, and I think here we'll do just fine. <coughs> we close our eyes when we go to sleep. We close our ears when we go to sleep. We snuggle up tight and we don't even peek. think this is the right place to go to sleep. It's not very comfy. Well, you know what we'll have to doodly do instead. Roll it up and look for somewhere else. <laughs> oh, roll, roll, roll it up. Take roll, you roll. somewhere new. <laughs> A comfy, wumpy, snoozy, snuggly, fun for me and you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 little one says she wants to go with you. Oh, does she? OK. Uh, 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 well... Um, th there's only one sleeping bag. Oh, yes, there is, but... Uh... All right, let's go, Rocket. Hey, let's go. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 I know what to do, little one. I'll make you a sleeping bag. I can use this big blue piece of paper. I'll wrap it around you first to make sure it's the right size. Um, fold it over. Oh, and now we have to stick it down. There we are. Ta-da! Perfect! All snuggly! Oh, hello, Pum! Oh, Thimbo! <laughs> oh, hello, Pum! Oh, hello, Rocky! <laughs> oh, what's that? It's my sleeping bag. I found it. Oh, hello, sleeping bag. Oh, nice. Oh, soft and smooth. <laughs> yes, it's for sleeping in. And me and Rocket are looking for somewhere comfy to put it so we can go to sleep. Oh, yes, indeedy. Now, hmm, I think here might be good, Rocket. Oh, yes, the purple meadow, just the right place. Oh, we. Night-night, oh, Fimba. Oh, night-night, Pong. Um, ooh. Uh, a rocket? I don't think we can sleep here either. Oh? Well, it's just all big and flat here. I don't think it's very comfy. Oh. Well, you know what we'll have to doodly do. Roll it up and look somewhere else. Oh! oh. <laughs> roll, roll, roll it up and look for somewhere new. Comfy, wumpy, snoozy, snuggly, fun for me and you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, there. Well, Rocket? Ah, yes, Sir Fimbo. Oh, where should we try next? Um... There you are! Look what I've made! Cool! <laughs> what is it? It's a sleeping bag. Uh, ooh, you never fit in there. <laughs> oh, for little one. Not for me, Rocket. Oh, I see. So, can little one go with you now, Thimbo? Uh, well, well, um, uh, the, the thing is, uh, we can't find anywhere comfy enough. You need somewhere really comfy when you're sleeping in a sleeping bag. Oh. And the play dips aren't comfy. And the purple meadow isn't comfy. And the busy base isn't comfy. Well, I know where you could go if you want somewhere comfy. Uh, where? The comfy corner, of course. Oh, of course. Oh, why didn't you think of that, Rocket? <laughs> why didn't I? Come on, let's go, Rocket. Oh, uh, wait, Dumbo. Oh, what? Don't forget, little one. Oh, of course. Thanks, Flory. <laughs> Come on, little one. Oh, and be good, little one. And sleep tight. <laughs> oh, comfy at last. Oh.
close our eyes when we go to sleep. We close our ears when we go to sleep. We snuggle up tight and we don't even peep. Shh, shh, go to sleep. Ah, there you are. Oh, goodness, Fimbo. All snuggled down, are you? Oh, oh, hello, Roly. Well, yes, I'm in my sleeping bag and I'm all comfy, but I'm not very sleepy yet. Oh, 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 oh. I see little one has got a sleeping bag too. Yes, Flory made it for her. <laughs> well, now, I've got a story about someone who was fast asleep. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes, please, uh, yes, Roly. Please, Roly. Uh, right, oh, then. Back in a roly mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Now, are you all nice and comfy? Oh, oh yes, yes Rory. Rory. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Snaggle Taggle. <laughs> Under the waves where the sea creatures play, a giant snaggle taggle snoozed all day. The crab made a grab, but the snaggle taggle still snoozed. The fish brought a dish. The crab made a grab, but the snaggle-taggle still snoozed. The whale blew a gale. The fish brought a dish. The crab made a grab, but the snaggle-taggle still snoozed. The seal gave a feel. The whale blew a gale. The fish brought a dish. The crab made a grab. But the snaggle-taggle still snoozed. Then, with a splish and a splosh and a splutter, the snaggle-taggle was heard to utter, Which of you disturbed my sleep so sound? Whoever it was, I'll twirl you round. Can you imagine their surprise when the snaggle taggle swam before their eyes? And so, with a clap, a shout, and a squeal, they all had fun on Snaggle's whirly wheel. There we are, then. <laughs> that was a good story. Yes, it was. The snaggle-taggle was asleep and they couldn't wake him up. Hmm, all that twirling around has made me feel a bit sleepy. Oh, I think I'll snuggle down in here a bit. Oh, all right, then. i leave you to snuggle down. <laughs> Sleep well, Fimbo. <laughs> well, I'm not sleepy. I'm hungry. <laughs> Why don't we go get some crumble crackers, Fimbo? <laughs> a cracker? A cracker's good idea, Rocket. A cracker before we go to sleep. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Uh, aren't you coming, Fimbo? I, uh... uh, uh <laughs> don't you want any crumble crackers, Fimbo? Uh, um, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> you don't want any crackers? But you always want crackers. Um, not this time, Rocket. Oh, um, uh, you go ahead. Oh, hello, Bimbo. I've just come to see if little one's okay. Oh, <laughs> you're all tucked up in your sleeping bag, Bimbo. <laughs> oh, and so are you, little one. I'm just going to get a cracker, but Bimbo doesn't want to come. Don't you, Bimbo? Huh? Well, it's just that oh, oh, you. What's wrong, Bimbo? Oh, I can't get out of my sleeping bag. I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fimbo's stuck. Oh, don't worry, Fimbo. We'll help you out. 
Pom, you pull here and I'll pull here. Ready? Pass. One, <laughs> two, three, pull! Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Flory. Thank you, Pom. Huh. I... Oh, you know, I really do feel sleepy now. Sing! Sing! Oh. We close our eyes when we go to sleep. We close our ears when we go to sleep. We snuggle up tight and we don't even peep. sleeping bag. Who was it for? Yes, it was for Little One. And Fimbo found somewhere comfy to settle down in the end, didn't he? In the comfy corner. But then what happened? <laughs> yes, he got stuck in the sleeping bag. <laughs> and they sang that lovely song. Do you like snuggling down to sleep? Ribble and I do, don't we, Chuck? Come and find us next time, won't you? We must fly. Goodbye. Look, I found something. Every girl, every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimble.
And a rocket. It's bouncing. Let's bounce it now, Pum. Oh, uh, Pum bounce. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oopsie, a ball in a tree. No problem, Pum. I can reach it because I am the jumping frog. Smelly jelly. I can't reach it, Pum. Oh, a ball stuck. That's Fimbo's ball. Yes, it's Fimbo's ball, Pum. Oh, Fimbo. Pum tell Fimbo. Good idea. Oh, oh, wait for me. <laughs> Fimbo! Fimbo? Oh, where's Fimbo? <gasps> you won't hear that. <laughs> Bum know what that is. <laughs> That's the tinkling tree. The tinkling tree telling Pom something. <laughs> Tinkling too. Just a little bit. <laughs> you won't see your fingers twinkling. Oh. <laughs> Look, Pom's nose winkling. <laughs> oh, your nose winkling too. <laughs> you feel your nose winkling? a big bouncy ball. <coughs> what are those for? No, no. Hello, you two. Well, tickle my tail feathers. What have you found there? Ball. Oh, yes. It does look like a ball. A big ball. Yes, but it's got these funny bits. Look, Bessie. Ooh, mm. yes. What's that for, Bessie? Shall we have a look and see? Oh, yes, please, please Bessie. Bessie. Then come with me. Come and see the big white world. The big white world. I like to roll it. I like to throw it. But best of all, I like to bounce on it.
it's a hoppy ball, a ball for hopping on, a tippity toppity hippity hoppity ball. <laughs> <laughs> tippy toppy, monkey bouncy bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I have first go at the hopping ball? Oh yes, monkey go first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, I say, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> look at me, look at me. I'm the hippity hoppity hoppy ball frog. <laughs> That you would say. Come <laughs> <laughs> could jump as high as you. Come see <gasps> things too. Bessie's nest, hunting a tree, giggling garden, tinkling tree, jump up high in the sky. That is what Pumsy. Woo! <laughs> hey, hey, look at me now! Look at me now! Hey! Whoa, I can't stop! <laughs> the frog has landed. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, look at that! It's stuck in Rowley's hole. Oh, I'd better get it out. <laughs> it's stuck. Look it! Work it! Work it all right! Oh, yes, I'm okay, Pom, but the hoppy ball is stuck in Rowley's hole. Oh, Pom, push, hoppy ball. Oh, yes, good idea, Pom, that might do it. Oh, uh, uh, oh, 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 ball stuck. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, hello, hello Finbo. Uh, why are you pushing that ball into Rowley's hole? Oh, it's not just a ball, it's a hoppy ball. Pom, Finn, be fine. Oh. Oh, so, um, how did it get into Rolly's hole? Uh, I was bouncing on it. <sighs> oh, did you bounce it into Rolly's hole? Uh, yes. Uh, that's when it all went wrong. It got stuck. Oh, uh, let me have a try. <coughs> oh, oh, it is stuck. Stuck. Oh, oh. <gasps> I wonder if Rolly is in his hole. Uh, uh, Rolly, are you in there? Rolly! Rolly! What are you all doing? Oh, hello, Flurry. We're calling for Rolly. He's in his hole. Rolly! Rolly! Um, what's that in Rolly's hole? Oh, Pom Fimpy find it. And I bimbly bounced it. And now it's stuck. Oh, crumbly. Rolly! Rolly! Oh, yes. Did you call? Oh, that's Rolly. Rolly in there. Oh, Rolly, Rolly, can you hear me? Oh, of course I can. <laughs> Rolly, <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Rolly. <laughs> yes, here I am. <laughs> now, what's going on? Oh, uh, Rolly, the hoppy ball is stuck in your hole. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, never mind. I'm sure we'll think of a way to get it out. <laughs> yes, but you can't get in. No stories. Oh, dear. We won't be able to have a story, Rolly. I tell you what, let's all sing my song together and then we'll see what we shall see. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo! Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a pepper or two. Inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. <laughs> <laughs> now, what have we here? A, a story book. Story book. Oh, a story. 
<laughs> now, why don't I read you this story? And we'll see if it gives us any ideas for getting the hoppy ball out of my hole. Oh, yes, please, Rowley. Right then. Are you all sitting comfortably? Mm. Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Great Big Enormous Turnip. Hmm. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman lived in a little house with an enormous garden. One day, they were planting some seeds when a friendly robin flew down to see what they were doing. Now leave those alone, robin, said the old man. They're turnip seeds, and I just love turnips. White, round, juicy turnips. The sun shone, the rain rained, and one by one the seeds grew. In the ground, the turnips were getting rounder and bigger. I think it's time to pull at our turnips. Good, said the little old woman. Then I can make some delicious turnip soup. The friendly robin pecked at the biggest turnip top. Now leave that alone, robin, said the old man. It's too big for you. So the old man and the old woman pulled at the biggest turnip top. They pulled and tugged, but the turnip would not come out of the ground. Their neighbour, Farmer Straw, was passing by. You look as if you could do with some help, he said. So the farmer pulled, the old woman pulled, and the old man pulled, but it was no good. This turnip is really huge, said the old man. The farmer whistled to his dog and his sheep. Then the dog pulled, the sheep pulled, the farmer pulled, the old woman pulled, and the old man pulled. It's no good, said the old man. Where can we get more help? Suddenly they heard a... And the friendly robin flew down and tugged at the dog's tail. So the robin pulled, the dog pulled, the sheep pulled, the farmer pulled, the old woman pulled, and the old man pulled, and out came the enormous turnip. None of them had ever seen a turnip so big. The little old woman made a huge pot of soup, and there was still some turnip left over for the friendly robin. Hmm. There we are. Now, has that given you any ideas of how to get your hoppy ball out of my hole? <gasps> turnip! Turnip! Oh, yes! The hoppy ball is just like the turnip in the story. So, if we all pull it together, it will come out. Hooray! <laughs> hey, everyone, we need to be in a line. Uh, Thimbo, you can be the farmer. <clears throat> I'm the farmer. <laughs> and I'll be the farmer's wife. And Pom, you go next. Pom next. And I'll go on the end. <laughs> now then, everyone ready to pull? Yes. yes. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> Let's try again. All right. One, two... Come on, Ribble, you can pull too. Right then. Everyone ready? One, two, three... Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> we did it! Ooh, I'm feeling bouncy. Can be for Rocket. Oh, Rocket, watch out for that! <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, I think so. Ball! Thimbo's ball! Ball not stuck! Oh, yes, that is my ball. Oh, where did that come from? It was stuck up in a tree. Oh, rocket bounced high up in the sky. Yes, I did, Pum. High enough to get the ball down out of the tree. Oh, great. Well, now we can play with it. Uh, rocket, do you want to bounce my ball with me? Uh, no, thank you, Thimbo. Oh, I've had enough bouncing for today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
the Fimbles did have a busy day today. Can you remember who found the hoppy ball? It was Pom, wasn't it? Pom found it. But it was Rocket who bounced on it. <laughs> right into my hole. <laughs> and then everyone pulled it out. Just like the great big enormous turnip. Look out, Rowley! What? Hmm? <laughs> Perhaps you could find a bouncy ball. But be careful where you bounce it. <laughs> Come and find us next time, won't you? Now it's time for Rolly Moe to go. Cheerio! Mm.